I'm gonna do a little test video if it works out. It doesn't work out. Oh, damn it. Uh, this is day the end of day 11. Uh, for those of you who know me, I need no introduction. <laughs> Uh, there's been a fantastic electric storm. I would say fantastic with more enthusiasm, except I feel nauseous and sick of this fast. Uh, brutally frank with you. Brutally Michael. But feelings come and go. So do inner states of the body and the brain. And, but res resolutions prudently taken for well thought out reasons that come from the wellsprings of one, one's being. That is deep turnings of the being toward some goal, they don't have to budge, they don't have to be blown about by passing very debilitating um, phases of nausea and the sort of throbbing headache that goes with it. A bit like seasickness, funnily enough. Um, someone suggested that it was, the nausea was due to a collapse in the tension of the tummy. But that's probably bullshit. Because it comes from a guy who's like the Pope of a religion called the CureZone.com or .org. Go check it out, but don't tarry there very long if you if you desire peace and happiness and if you ever wish to laugh again and be merry because it is filled with the most pernicious um, half-truths, fantasies, wishful thinking, self-inflated egos of the guru sphere who want to you know, who set themselves up as, well, there's, there's a Pope there, I won't mention him by name, and he's got his bishops around him who do his bidding and herd the, um, herd the sheep, you know, and uh, anyone that um, has a different view is ostracized and thrown into, <clears throat> outside the church. Uh, where where the night is absolute and um, e eternal, it throws them out, you know, from the light within, which is also eternal and beneficent and heavenly. So yeah, a cult. Uh, what did I start talking about them? Oh yeah, that's because that view of uh, oh. Everything just went dark because a huge storm cloud just came over and if I upload this any tick of the clock you're going to hear a almighty clap of thunder uh, and maybe even see me get electrocuted with my electrical device which actually no you won't because it's not plugged in anywhere. Hmm. Nausea is bad, okay, but it's not fast threatening. Well, it yeah it could be regarded as fast threatening. But it's fast threatening. Not visible. Uh, hairy monkey anyway. Hairy hominid. Uh, I'm going to continue on. Right now I'm going to go to bed and draw the blind on day 11. 
and hope that tomorrow I wake with some fresh thoughts, some fresh feelings, some fresh enthusiasm. But even if I don't, I'm going to weather that day as well. And the next, and the next. Because I'm in it up to, well, about 60 days. That's uh, seven eighths of 56. <laughs> Seven nines are sixty-three, so that's about nine weeks. I'm I'm up for nine weeks, and I'm coming down the back straight of the second week, so it means I'm up for another seven weeks, at the longest. Could be a lot shorter than that because I'm down to eighty-five kilos already. So I can afford to go down, you know, to a sickly Belson inmate type, sixty-five or sixty if that's what it takes to get to the end of my fast, that is to experience true hunger again. At which point, hopefully, my lungs will be renewed, as will my liver. Anyway, the light's fading. I better say no, no. And God bless everyone. <laughs> uh, and see you in the shake of a lamb's tail.